Alright, what's up guys? This is Bill Hilton. I want to talk to you about how to get your team at least decent or good enough to face people online. Now, what I want to go to is, uh, what's that? I'm about to go to that. Man, it's season, okay. I want to show you, I'm going to go down the line and show you all how I got these players from. Nate Robinson, I got him because I needed a good point guard, a good enough point guard that can score. And I like a shooting team. He can shoot. Bam. Right there. John Paxton. Now, if y'all know him, he can shoot a little bit. So, that's one thing. Like I said before, I like shooting team. He can shoot. I got him off of a domination game. Uh, Face 36 as I beat them. He, I got him. And if y'all never play, play with him, he's very good. Kim Mason, when I was rebuilding my team, he was one of the guys I, I wanted to get. He was cheap. And he's good. Like, he's... If y'all never play with him, I got his jumper down pack. So, a majority of the time, I get either uh, a perfect release. So, if y'all need a guy like him or a guy that can score and handle the ball and bring the ball up the court right here. And Gordon. Now, I got him on Dominic's game. I beat Orlando. And I got him. Now, one thing that if y'all do want to get him, one thing, rebounding. Might be rebounding. Rebound, I, thought, I think he's terrible. Like, he don't rebound for my team for nothing. Mainly the, like, the, the, him, the point guards be even getting rebounds over him sometimes. So, that's one thing. Jason Terry. Um, I said I like shooting teams. He fits right in. I like shooting players. Like, if you, if you just like me, you like shooting teams, and you like people that can shoot, he fits right in. Um. Mike Dunley, he, he fits right in, too. He can shoot. You need a guy like that. Now, Mike says 75 as his three-pointer, but when you get in the court, he shoots like he's 89 or something like that, or 90. Aaron, Aaron Brooks, I just got him like um, about like two minutes ago. Um, He got an 88 three-pointer sh shoot. It's not like him. He's very good. Um, Him, now, I want to recommend him, but if you, if you want a guy... That can rebound and post up a little bit, he would be the guy. Frank, I really don't know him all like that, but he can shoot threes and he and he can post up. So I like a guy, a big man that can post up and can shoot the ball. Shannon Bow. Now I, I like him. He's very good. He's really good. Like they leave him open on a three point line. Now it might, if y'all see his shot hot spots. It's blue, but if you if you get close to the white line, I think y'all you can make it majority of the time. Now he he shocked me because I thought he was like gonna be like a Pablo a Pablo Pigioni type, like he could shoot a little bit, but he can't really produce to T. And that's why I was gonna put him on auction block. So I was like, let me see how he play. I played with him. He was dunking, making shots like crazy. Mm, he's good. He's good. If y'all wanted like a backup point guard, he'll be the one. Now him, I ain't even gonna talk about him. He a bum. Do not get him. I should put him on the auction block, but somebody, somebody probably don't want him. One thing he's good at, rebounding a little bit, but everything else, no. I mean he got post up a little bit, but what is he there for really? Cause it's nothing. But I want to talk about you don't all necessarily always have to have a uh, a LeBron team like. All star like Chris Paul, LeBron, D Wade. You don't also, you don't always have to have a good team like that. Now, you you can have a decent team and still compete with him. Like I have a, I think I have a good lineup. Y'all probably don't know John Paxton, but I think I have a good not lineup. Now, what I would do if if I was y'all, let's say you have a guy like Kent Bazemore or a guy like John Paxton. Now, people don't really know him. No John Paxson, but he's good. I think what I would do is send him to the auction block, but I'm not because I like him. But I would get a guy like Aaron Brooks. He don't necessarily has to be like LeBron James, but I would get him and probably sell him for about like a thousand, maybe two, three thousand. My team points. He's very I probably sit four or five thousand, but. You don't always necessarily have to get a good guy. Like I used, to, I used to hate playing my team, my ultimate team, because I had bums, and I just always have bums on my team, trash guys. 
So I started rebuilding. I started getting like decent guys, and my team is just looking good. Now the bench, it looks decent. It looks decent, but I think you don't necessarily always have to have good guys. Um, like, look, this is what I do. I mean, y'all don't always have to do this, but let. I bought somebody. I bought Aaron Brooks, so my my team points went down a little bit. Let's say, let's say you have more money than me, but I only have a thousand. I'm just saying, let's say you need a point guard, right? And then you you put minimum buyout is five hundred. The maximum buyout is thousand. So between there, you can get decent guys. Now, Pargo, I don't know his first, I don't know how to say his first name, but some people probably do like him. So. If y'all like him, get him. Now, this is the player I said shot me. If if you need a guy that can shoot a little bit, he can be the one. Um, who else? John Paxton, right here. Now, some people are like, who is this guy? But he can he's real good. So if y'all need a guy like this, bam, get him. No that's not. So right there, I saw like two or three good players on there. I y'all don't necessarily, like I said. Y'all don't necessarily say need LeBron James and other player. I know I said it a lot, but y'all don't. Um, I hope y'all like this video. Like and subscribe. If y'all need, if uh y'all need help, comment down below what I should do to help you, or just give me some tips. Cause you know this is my really my first year having a good team, on like having a good my team. So just comment down below. Give me tips, or you need help. Bam. So peace.